Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Kami and welcome back to my channel, What's Good? So, do I have an interesting video for you today? The reason I'm making this video is because about two weeks ago I made a video about Lily May and I had just found the cringiest girl on TikTok that I'd ever come across from the UK and I obviously made a video about it because it was very interesting. When I saw this girl's TikToks, I was kind of in shock because I had never seen someone like that cringe, like low-key in my life from the UK. There's a lot of messes from the UK, but no one is actually much of a mess as Libby May. So I was super intrigued, made a whole video on that and yeah, it went down pretty interestingly. Right now, um, a lot of stuff has happened since then. I've been getting accused of things. Libby May has been worse. Like, she's actually got worse. She replied to my video and a lot more has happened and I'm going to be speaking about that in today's video. So if you like drama, you like beef and you like me, make sure you subscribe to my channel right now. If you subscribe right now, it will motivate me to make more of these types of videos because Touch the Beef hasn't been back in so long and when I actually bring him back, it does kind of make me realise that a lot of people do like him. Which is kind of sad because my name is Kami, not Touch the Beef. But yeah, I have a bunch of Touch the Beef videos coming out really soon and I'm not gonna post them or make them unless you guys smash the support on this video. And also be sure to follow my Instagram because whenever I'm asking for people to react to, I always go to my Instagram. You can just reply to me. I reply to all of my DMs and if you don't believe me, hit me a DM and let's see if I reply. But obviously I won't be replying to you if you don't follow me, so make sure you go follow me on that. So without further ado, let's head on with today's video. This is just a disclaimer before I start. Do not leave Libby May any hate. Like, I am not making these videos to hate on Libby May. I'm making these videos to teach Libby May not to be so cringe. The whole reason I'm making these videos is to stop her from being cringe. Like, I am not bullying anyone. I have been getting so many comments on my Instagram and TikTok saying that I'm bullying the girl. I have not bullied the girl. I have not said one awful thing about the girl apart from calling her cringe because the girl is literally cringe and if Libby May is actually upset and offended by that, that is her issue. Like, I am not here to, like, ruin her day or anything. I'm just trying to teach her a lesson and Hopefully she takes my advice. But fun fact, she didn't take my advice from the first video. If anything, she got way more cringe and that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So yeah, please do not send her any hate. I'm making this video to kind of help her. And like, I'm saying everything you guys are pretty much saying, just not in the horrible way that some of you speak. Like some people on TikTok are quite brutal. So just hold your horses. And if you're gonna give anyone hate, give me the hate because I can actually take it, clearly. I've been in this game for way too many years. Okay, so in my last video, I started off by reacting to her most kind of famous TikTok with her ex-girlfriend but now we're gonna actually move on because she got a new girlfriend called Roxanne and I'm gonna start by going through her TikToks with that Roxanne girl because I didn't actually react to any of them in the last video I only reacted to one of them and then we're gonna get up to date on what the hell has happened in this past week that Libby May and her ex-girlfriend now have actually been through so let's start the reacting and let's start by giving my opinion on what I think about these little TikTok videos so let's do this <laughs> Not the nose touches, for frick's sake. The fact this has like a million views when all they did was look into each other's eyes and touch noses. Who are these people and why do they get so many views? It's actually really hard to react to these kind of videos when they don't say anything, they don't do anything, and all they do is look into each other's eyes and then make out at the end. What? That went on for way too long. I'm sorry, look at their faces at the end. What's going on there? I can't believe this is technically their job. But then again, I can't believe this is my job that I'm reacting to that. Wow, the whole world is messed up. We're definitely living in a simulation. The girl is 16. Why don't you try to find someone your own age instead of out of your league? Like, I don't understand this. Like, actually though, I'm not even being horrible. I'm just saying, like, you cannot say a 16 year old is way out of your league. Now we're getting onto the juicier stuff because those videos I just reacted to are so boring. Like, they just are boring. So anyway, I posted my YouTube video like two weeks ago and then Libby May came out with this video and she basically posted this. <laughs> Like, that is so interesting to me. She really out here saying that she don't care about when people make videos on her. But, like, are you sure? Are you sure, Libby May? Are you actually sure? I think they both care deep down. I just wish that Libby would have messaged me and been like, oh, thank you for making your video. Like, I actually realized what I did was really, really cringe. And I won't do it no more. But no, she went the complete opposite way and she tried to come for me. No, sweetheart, that's not how it's working. <laughs> Oh, 
Yikes. It just makes me uncomfortable. It just does. I just can't imagine seeing them both in public. Doing that, like, ew. It makes me feel sick. It just does. We'd be good together, do you think? No. Why? Because I'll break your heart. Maybe I'll break yours. There's too much going on here. First of all, they really, really can't act. Second of all, Libby may got to chill that tongue constantly leaving her mouth, like licking her lips. I hate it. Like, let me just show you a zoom in. Like, it's all I see in my head now. Put your tongue away, please. It's a kid's app. I don't want to see that. And now we're moving on to the part where Libby May started to get a lot of hate and the reason being is basically because of this video. There just is a lot wrong with that. You should not be flexing dating someone who is literally doing their GCSEs this year. Like the girl was doing her GCSEs this year. No, not even this year, like a month ago. I'm sorry, it's weird. Like it's genuinely weird. I actually commented on this video. Obviously I got top comment. <laughs> I'm kind of famous, if you guys didn't know already. But then it got like 10k likes and she ended up deleting my comment. But all I commented was like, are you not embarrassed? Because I'm not being funny, like you should be embarrassed. But yeah, technically that's where all her hate started coming in. And then she just kept making videos about it. When she lets you sit in a sports bra when it's warm. When she lets you, like imagine being 19 and having to listen to a 16 year old. No! You can do your own thing. Anyone in a healthy relationship can always do their own thing. Apart from cheating, obviously, because that's bad. But like, no! It doesn't make any sense. I just don't understand what her content is. I actually do not. Even though it's legal, it's still really, really weird. So just get someone your own age. Is it actually that hard? You have 2 million followers. I'm sure at least one of your 2 million followers is gonna be over the age of 16. Like, I'm sure it is. How old are you? I'm 20. Huh. And there we go. Another TikTok about her girlfriend being underage. Like, it actually does not stop at this point. Which is also so confusing because she's getting more and more hate and she's really reeling in those views and hate comments. But she didn't seem to care then, which is why I'm just confused. I had already made my video at this point and I basically told her to not date a 16 year old because like, it's weird and stuff. But if anything, she watched my YouTube video and she kept doing it. Was she just trying to make me mad? Because it worked. But then again, some people out there are probably thinking, why on earth are you wasting your time getting angry at people you don't even know? They're like 16. 16, 19, like blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit. I have nothing else to do with my time. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm so scared. Why is it so awkward? Like they both look like they have a gun pointed to their head. So something else I find super interesting is that video was like the last video they actually made together. And if you look on their faces, it looked really forced and awkward. Turns out they broke up after this video was made. So they're obviously going through their breakup or divorce, should I say. They were basically married at this point. So Libby May started making videos on her own and captioning them things like this. And that's kind of sad. But then Libby May's girlfriend started posting some very, quite crazy TikToks. <laughs> This is the beefiest shit I have ever seen. I actually kind of feel bad for Libby May now. Imagine being in a relationship and then the next day your girlfriend is basically kissing another girl on TikTok. Like, I'm sorry, that is a lot to handle. I am not gonna lie. Welcome back, Tracy Baker. This has never been away. Yeah, it's actually getting really, really beefy in here. I'm starting to get a little bit hot. That is actually a massive kick in the teeth to Libby May. And I honestly, I am obviously, for, okay, let me get this straight. I am not on any one of their sides. Like, I am not on Team Libby or Team Libby May's girlfriend. Like, I, I am not on any of their sides. But in all honesty, I do kind of feel bad for her. Obviously, I don't feel bad for her. I literally don't have any kind of feeling towards any of them. I don't know them, and I obviously don't care about them either. Like, let's be real here. So after Libby May's girlfriend started posting all of this raunchy stuff, she then posted a two-minute video of her explaining why she broke up with Libby May. And I honestly watched this and I couldn't be any more bored. Like, I'm sorry, it was so boring. This is the story behind me and Libby May. We were speaking for under two months and then she made me block people that I was Snapchatting. 
and she didn't let me go on my phone or anything. And then when I came home from hers, I went out in town, and she she didn't like. She said, "Don't go out, don't go out." But I still went out because you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna put you through that whole video because I actually cannot be bothered to watch it again. Like I'm sorry, it puts me in a bad mood. All she said in that video was Libby May didn't let her basically go on her phone or speak to any of her friends or see any of her friends. No one actually cares. I'm sorry, they actually do not care. So yeah, a massive rip to the Libby May and Libby May's girlfriend relationship. Missing them so much. So in all honesty, it's probably for the best. Now hopefully. Libby May can find someone her own age or maybe just spend time being single and having fun, you know, have some fun Libby May, you might as well. And for Libby May's girlfriend, grow up. <laughs> She's 16, like, grow up. <laughs> How are you gonna be 16 in 2021? Nah, I'm obviously kidding, like, I don't know. But yeah, it does not end here. Libby May's mum basically came out on TikTok saying, like, she was basically crying in her car, and it was actually really emotional and really sad. Like, as a mum, seeing your child kind of get hated on, it's obviously gonna kind of hurt them. She basically cried on TikTok because all the hate comments are getting to her, but it's like, this is my advice from someone that has also been in a situation like that in, like, the real-life media. Like, I've been in papers, news articles, or getting hated on. It was a lot. Like, I've actually been through that. My only advice for Libby May, if you're gonna get offended by the hate comments, don't feed into the hate comments like you're being very stupid in that sense if anything change up your content And if you don't want to change up your content and you still want to make the cringy stuff you're making Just don't do social media like if you can't deal with the hate comments and the other comments you're gonna get social media Probably isn't for you. How do you have two million followers, but you're gonna get offended by hate comments? It doesn't make any sense. I am not trying to bully you I am not trying to make anyone else bully you like I said at the start of the video This is a disclaimer I do not want Libby May getting any hate from you guys I've made this whole video now for her to watch and maybe analyze in a sense like do better you know, like, do better. But yeah, it really isn't that deep. It's just a video at the end of the day. It's kind of like, uh, it's like drama, you know? I'm basically speaking on the case and updating people that don't know or want to know. You feel me? But then her mom started getting involved and now her mom's commenting on my TikToks and reacting to people duetting me, being like, oh, touch lights a bully. Why did you have to make this video? You're so horrible. And I'm like, no offense, Libby May's mom. You can kind of not speak saying that, like, your daughter shouldn't be getting hate comments when you're posting stuff like this on the internet. What grown ass 60 year old woman is posting TikToks about shaving your ass to 12 year olds? It's a children's app. This whole family is just so weird. It just is. And I don't know what to do about this situation because I'm like, I feel really bad for them and I, I, I really do not want them to get any hate. Like, the hate should stop. I'm calling you cringe. And if you think that's a hate comment, then I, I actually don't know what to tell you, but it really, really is not. Her mama mess, Libby May a mess, Libby May's girlfriend's a mess. They're all messes and it's just so cringe. And on that note, I'm good. Going. I'm ending the video. I actually cannot be asked with this anymore like the whole situation a mess and I'm going to sleep The time is 2 p.m. I don't know why I said that but yeah If you did the video smash the thumbs up button smash the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram and TikTok My app will be here. I love you all so much. Please for the fifth time do not send me any hate You do not need to I love you all so much Thank you for all the support recently and I'll catch you in my next video. It might be a touch to beef video I have one person that I'm making a video on that none of you would probably Probably expect and hit the notification bell button so you get notified when I post because I don't have an upload schedule so I don't really know when I'm posting next so yeah stay swaggy and I'll see you in my next video bye